today I'm going to be showing you how I make my mommy and me dresses out of pillowcases and sheets that I got from the thrift store. So I am going to be using my sewing machine and iron. This is from an old pillowcase. I'm going to use this for the straps. And then this is just a regular standard size pillowcase from the thrift store. Then I have the flat sheet, which is what I'm going to be using. And this is a twin size sheet set. This is the flat sheet I'm going to be using for the mommy dress, the pillowcase I'm going to be using for my daughter, and then the fitted sheet. I'm actually going to be taking the elastic out of the fitted sheet to use for this project. So everything is upcycled. Didn't have to buy anything for this project other than the um, sheets and those were $3.99 for the whole set at the thrift store. And I love the print. I think it's so fun for summertime and I'm really excited. So this is my first time making a mommy and me dress. So um, we'll see how it turns out. But yeah, I'm excited to get started and I'm gonna take you along with me on this little journey. So this is my little um, sewing kit. I just have a seam ripper in here because I mess up a lot. <laughs> Um, extra needles because I break those often, just some thread, uh, measuring tapes, some fabric cutting scissors, and these are, this is just extra stuff that I save from different things to use for sewing projects. Uh, and then I have like a button, little button thing in there. And I use this paintbrush to help um, push the fabric out for the straps. So yeah, oh, and a safety pin, we're gonna be needing one of those. So if you have anything like this, you could follow along and we can make them together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is salvage the elastic out of the fitted sheet. And I'm just gonna do that by, um, you can use a pair of scissors or if you happen to have a uh, seam ripper on hand. This is what a seam ripper looks like if you're new to the sewing world. Seam ripper is probably the best thing to use if you have one, cause you could just, um, go through and it just helps to take the string out there and then do you would do the same thing on the other side and this will just make it really easy for you to access that uh, elastic so when you open it up hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing let me zoom this in a little bit be a little bit better so basically the seam ripper it just cuts these little strings open to make it easy for you to access or if you mess up like I do a million times when you're sewing um, and then it allows you access to this elastic so we're gonna just I'm just gonna cut the elastic like that and I'm gonna just pull it out and I'm gonna use this for my project and this this elastic actually um, seems to be in good condition if they're vintage sheets or like old sheets, the elastic might not be that great. So just check it, you know, like pull it like this to see a lot of times if elastic is old, you'll hear it, it'll like crack <laughs> and um, you'll know that the elastic is bad, but this is, this is great. So I'm just gonna keep pulling this out and we'll use this for our project. Okay, so I just finished getting all the elastic out and it did take a little bit of time, about 30 minutes to get all that out. It's pretty tedious, but you get a bunch of elastic for free and you'll have leftover elastic for other projects if you want. Um, you could, if you're like lazy or you don't have a lot of time, you could just cut here um, and not like seam rip it all out. And you can use that for your project if you wanted um, that way. I actually did that with, uh, the other pillowcase dresses I did and it worked perfectly fine. I just thought it would be cool to take this all out and be able to have all this elastic, but elastic isn't that expensive. I just looked on Hobby Lobby and it, it was on sale, so you could go buy it, but this is just a little hack if you wanted to get it for free. Um, so yeah, there you go. Now you have a bunch of elastic. This is 108 inches that I was able to get out. So I just looked up how much it would be to buy one fourth of three yards of this elastic and it's $2.25. Uh, there you go. You saved yourself $2.25. So if you're making pillowcase dresses for little girls, obviously just a standard size pillowcase would work. Um, if you are plus size or a bigger girl, you would maybe want to try to find uh, sheets that are 
king size sheets um, and then a lot of times they'll come with king size pillowcases so um, if your girls are on the bigger side that's just a little um, idea that you can get bigger sheets for bigger girls so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the pillowcase and flatten it out um, if it was really wrinkled I would take an iron to it um, we are going to use an iron for this project and the first thing I like to do is just kind of measure out and for snow I found the sweet spot is like between 22 23 inches of length so I will go here and then what I'm going to do to where I want it to end and so I'm going to just fold the pillowcase and then I'm gonna take an iron and I'm going to press that. Okay, so I'm just, I don't have an ironing board, so <laughs> I'm just taking a towel out on my kitchen counter. Thankfully I have enough space for this. And I'm going my pillowcase. I have it measured out. So I made this little crease here with the iron. If you guys can see that, you can always use a marker or something, whatever's easiest for you. And then I'm going to cut about half an inch out this way because I'm going to fold this little part in and then sew it. So now you can save this piece and use it for the straps um, or for another project. You can make little scrunchies out of this. You can make a little bandana um, to match the outfit. So many like fun ideas that you can do. I might use this to make either a scrunchie or a bandana for snow. And then I am going to use a different uh, pillowcase that I had left over, just a white one for the straps for this. But okay, so now we have this. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this um, piece here and I'm just going to uh, fold that in and you can press this down with an iron so what I'm gonna do is I just iron that down and then when I go to sew it I'm just gonna flip it over one more time and I'm gonna sew a seam right along here all the way around the whole pillowcase. I ironed this section here and then I flipped it over, ironed again, and I just left enough for the uh, elastic to be able to fit through. So if you're doing thicker elastic, make this bigger, but my elastic's small. So now I'm just going to um, sew a seam. I forgot to mention that underneath the armpit area, leave about a half an inch so that you can put your elastic in. Uh, so and I'm just gonna do a back stitch. So next I'm just taking a safety pen and I am putting it on one side of the elastic and that is what I'm going to use to put underneath that armpit area that we left open and I'm just going to push that all the way through to the other side. This is like too loose so I'm going to I need to pull my elastic together more. I don't want it to be too tight. I want it to be pretty comfortable. So I can do a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. I'm actually going to sew the elastic together by hand. All right, so this is all the extra elastic I have left over. So I'm just gonna cut that. Set that aside. All right, ladies, are we having fun yet or what? How do you know that our guys aren't watching? Are we having fun, you guys, or what? <laughs> uh, I the guys kind of, definitely that kind of fun. I am not. I am on all inclusive over here, folks. All right, I'm going to safety pin this for safety reasons. Ah! See what I did there? 
the they's, the us's, the we's, oh the he's, the she's. All right, let's. All right, I'm gonna leave this safety pen and I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit because it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. And I'm going to sew these two elastics together while they're safety pinned, just to stay on the safe side. And this doesn't need to be pretty. No one's gonna be able to see. No one's gonna see this. Now we have our elastics sewn together here, and now all I need to do now is just fold that up. I'm just gonna sew a little seam right here. So that is done now. So we have the top done for the little dress. Look how cute that looks. I can't wait for her to put this on. And now I'm just gonna do the straps. The straps are super easy. This whole project's really easy, but what I'm doing um, is, I'm wearing my pajamas, don't mind me. So I have this leftover strip of fabric from an old pillowcase dress that I made from her. But how I do it is I, find the seam. The seam is here and what I'll do is um, normally when I do this I uh, will iron on like creases to know where I need to put things but I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay so I have this fabric here and I'm just going to line it up and I am going to sew a seam on both sides. Okay, now they are ready to flip inside out. Some people do this and it's easier to do with a safety pin turning it inside out. Sometimes I'll use a little paintbrush to help push the fabric through. Whatever works for you, whatever is easiest. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, now once you have done that, <laughs> literally the hardest part of the whole project, um, like I said, we're going to take these over to the iron and flatten them out. What I do is I just take these rough edges and I fold them over once and then twice so that it looks like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find the center back and I'm going to sew this right here. And then I'm gonna take the other strap and do the same thing, fold it, fold it, and then I'm going to cross it over the back. So this is gonna be like a little crisscross back. Sometimes if you uh, have it pretty thick fabric going over each other, it's hard to sew in the sewing machine, so you can always sew it by hand so you don't break a needle because I've done that before. Okay, so then that's what the back is gonna look like. A little crisscross like that, and then we're gonna sew it onto the front now. Okay, so what I did was I just safety pinned on the front of the straps so I can see if I liked them there. Um, also, you can use these if you don't have like pins. Um, for sewing, you know what I'm talking about, little pins <laughs> that you put uh, things in place for. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sew that on and then we're gonna try it on her and see what it looks like. Water right there. Come here. Watch, um, Mama's sewing you a dress. You wanna watch the wiggles? Or... Making you a dress, do you like this color? Do you like the flowers on your dress? You wanna learn how to sew one day? Wow! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? You like all the stickers?
Look, you have a new dress. Do you want to try it on? Thank you, please. So here's the back, super cute. So for the mommy dress, I have this twin flat sheet and what I did was I just folded it in half and I put pretty sides together. Um, and then I took this measuring tape. I measured the length that I wanted it. I want it to be kind of long, like a maxi dress. So for me, that was going to be like 47 inches. And so I'm going to give myself a, a little bit of like a seam allowance and then cut maybe around like 48 inches. I'll cut there and that will be the top of my dress. And then this is going to be the bottom of my dress. Um, but because this is not a pillowcase, we're kind of simulating a big pillowcase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sew a seam all along down that side uh, so that it's closed on this side closed on this side and then when we turn it inside out it'll be like one big giant pillowcase um, and we're basically going to do the same thing we did for the regular pillowcase for this one got my little helper over here you want to say hi snow hi snow <laughs> i love your headband and your hair it's looking mighty awesome You are so rock and roll. Yeah. Your hair is awesome, Snow, and so is your dress. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this all out and then sew that seam over there. So now that that is sewed together, we're going to open it up to the pretty side. And now it's like we have one huge pillowcase for the mommy dress. Yeah, this side's open and this will be at the bottom. And then this side is open and what we're going to do is, just like we did with the uh, pillowcase, um, dress we're just going to fold this in except for this time. It's going to be thicker um, We're like how much we're folding because the elastic I'm going to put in is going to be thicker this time I'm going to use a different type of elastic because uh, I think that other elastic would be way too small for this one So I'm just going to fold that over once and then twice So that it looks like that you See that? And then I'm gonna sew a seam all the way around and then leave half an inch open underneath the armpit to put the elastic through. Okay, so I just laid it out. And what I did was I just folded it over, um, you know, that piece and then folded it over again and then ironed it down all the way around. And I'm gonna sew a seam all along right here around the whole thing, leave a little half inch open for the armpit to put the elastic through. But yeah, I just iron this down so that uh, it stays and it's easier for me to sew. Um, so it's like, you know, all in place. That is all sewed, looks really nice. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take our giant pillowcase that we made out of this flat fitted sheet and I'm just going to fold it in half and what I'm doing is I'm going to just press here um, with the iron so that I give myself a little mark of where the center back is going to be for our straps. 
So I'm gonna press that really good. And then I'm going to open that up and I'm going to take this half and fold it halfway there and then same with the other side. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to press these sides and this is gonna be where the front straps go. So basically just instead of like marking it with like a marker or a little pin thing, I'm just ironing it down so you know where it goes. It's just at the top part. It's just like a little marking guide for me. We get them even like the straps where they're supposed to go on, even on both sides. Let's make sure there's little marks there, which yes, there are. Okay, good to go now. Okay, so this is from an old pillowcase, and I'm just going to cut this in half. And now I'm just going to, again, sew down a seam on this side and again on the other side for both of them and then turn them right side out, press them down. So I finished sewing both sides and now I'm just flipping them pretty side out. Okay, so now I'm just taking the raw edges and I'm folding it over once and then I'm going to fold it over again and do that for both sides on both ends and this is the little center back that I have and I'm going to sew that and then, well, you know, a little bit more even than that, but I'm going to sew it along the same seam that I already have here. So I'm going to sew it like that and then I'm going to do the other one and I'm going to crisscross so we have the crisscross back and do another seam like that right over there. So this is what it looks like close up. I'm just following this seam and I have that down. You can iron this down too if it helps. And then I'm just, okay, now this is the second one and I'm just going right over this one. Hey, what's wrong, honey? And sewing, are you helping mama? I'm helping mama. Okay, all right. Okay, so we got these on the back side, stitched up. Not perfect at all. This flap was kind of coming off, so I just did a stitch here, but I'll still be able to fit my elastic through. Um, so that's what that looks like. A little bit messy, but hey, it's gonna work. I think that this is really cool, and I could sew it so that it looks like this with like the neck, but I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> this this is actually like a belly band that they give you after you have a baby and I have no use for it anymore and it's just one of the cheap ones the hospital gives you so um, I wasn't gonna end up donating it so I'm just gonna use the fabric from, or the elastic from this so I'm basically just cutting it to the size I want and I'm just hoping that it works All right, so we've got this strip of elastic and we are going to put this in and see what happens. Okay, so I'm just taking my handy dandy safety pin, closing that up, and then I'm going to find, also, I don't know if I showed you this, but I sewed my straps on. Um, so those are on, I think they might be too short, but we can always uh, adjust that later on if we need to. So here underneath the armpit is my little uh, opening should come a little bit closer. There it is. I'm gonna stick this through here and then just push this all the way through. Okay, finally got the safety pin through to the other side. Now this is the part that is a little tricky because a lot of times when I do this, <laughs> I like screw it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the safety pin and I'm going to attach it to the other side and then I'm also going to attach it to a piece of this fabric here because I don't want to lose the elastic which I've done 
many times before. So at this point, you want to um, kind of even it all out. See how it's like all bunched right here, but not really here. So I'm gonna try to even that out all the way around just by distributing the fabric kind of evenly around all the elastic. Once I feel like um, I'm happy with where it's at, I'm going to unpin that. Both of these, I'm going to um, sew it here and then cut off whatever extra elastic I don't need. Okay, so I just sewed the elastic pieces together and now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, sew this closed here, um, but I did try this on and it looks amazing, but the straps are a little short, so I'm gonna have to make those longer. Um, my tip is go a little bit longer uh, because it's easier to make them shorter than it is to make them longer when you mess up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo that, but I'm gonna sew this and then make these longer and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. So this is the finished product. Her dress looks a little bit like it's inside out, but it's not. It was just really faded and that's just the way I bought it from the thrift store. But I love the way that these turned out and I hope that you guys end up recreating them. I actually made some other pillowcase dresses for snow, um, as you can see in these pictures. Uh, and so there's so many different, um, you know, different ways that you can do this and make them. Here's another one that I did. They're so much fun. And if you guys do end up making these, please, please send me pictures. I would love to see them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something from it. Thank you again for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.